Now. Now. I'd like to introduce to you John Rennie, an independent mortgage broker with Mortgage Architects. He has been in the business of helping homeowners and home buyers since 2009. He has the pleasure of having grown up children who have moved out of the home and enjoys the distinction of being grandpa to three special little girls. He enjoys the kitchen and loves to be creative. Fortunately, his girlfriend Lori loves to clean up after him. Something you don't know about John is he attended Hamburger University during his previous career at McDonald's. And to learn more about his McDonald's career and all his other careers, please book the one-to-one -one with John Rennie. And I'll pass it on to John. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you know, no presentation can be done by me without uh, drawing a, or showing a picture of these three little girls and uh, very proud of them. Um, quite enjoy their company. Um, for the purpose of today, uh, I thought I would educate a little on what makes up the, your credit worthiness. Uh, when purchasing a home, a lender looks at all of this uh, before approving a mortgage. So the five C's of credit, basically character, capacity, collateral, capital, conditions. Um, so I just want to take a little bit of time and just go through page by page uh, a little bit what we're looking for when we're talking about these five C's. So character. Um, is best explained as your credit score. Uh, your credit score takes into account many factors. Uh, this can include payment history, the type of credit you use, credit cards, uh, car loans, mortgage payments, all those uh, fabulous things. Uh, previous collections, consumer proposals, and bankruptcies uh, will also have an effect. For the purpose of a mortgage lend or mortgage lending, 680 is an excellent score. Most lenders want a minimum of 650, and if your credit score is lower than that, you can still get a mortgage, but uh, you're gonna need a larger down payment and you're, you're gonna pay a higher interest rate. Uh, lenders may also request family members co-sign a mortgage uh, when your rates are a little lower. So capacity, uh, a borrower, borrower's capacity to pay, repay a loan is a necessary factor in determining the risk exposure for the lender. Employment history, income, and other commitments are all considered uh, in the purpose of buying a house. At this point, GDS and TDS ratios become a factor. So I'll explain that a little bit. So GDS is gross debt servicing. And is the amount of income you can service, uh, you can service your house. Mortgage payments, property taxes, and heating costs cannot exceed 39% of your income. TDS is your total debt servicing. So in this case, we're going to include any other uh, debts you may have, car loans, credit cards, lines of credit, et cetera, and that amount cannot exceed 44%. Um, so those are numbers that we have to work within whenever we're, we're uh, qualifying somebody for a mortgage. Collateral. Collateral for, for the purpose of a mortgage is a home you own or are purchasing and is considered collateral against uh, which the lenders will, will, uh, so will register against. When the down payment is less than 20%, uh, lenders will require mortgage insurance to further ensure their investment in you. In the event of a refinance, a lender will request an appraisal to ensure there is enough collateral to, in the home to secure their investment. Appraisals are also required in, in a private sale. So if you're not using a realtor to purchase a home, be prepared to pay Chad because uh, the realtors, uh, in most cases, they're not gonna require um, an appraisal. Um, capital represents uh, the overall pool of assets under your name um, as a borrower. It rep represents your investments, savings, and assets as such as land and jewelry. Loans are pr primarily repaid over household income Capital is additional security for unseen, foreseen circumstances of, or setbacks as to, uh, such as unemployment. Yeah, so in, in the event that uh, you get unemployed, um, you know, the lenders want to know you can sell something to keep making your mortgage payments. Um, conditions, uh, refer to, conditions refer to uh, specifics of the credit transaction, such as the principal amount or the interest rate. Lenders assess risk based on how the borrower plans to use the money and should they receive it. Other conditions can impact an approval, even if your credit score is above 680 or 680, um, such as a recession. An example of that recently, when the oil patch was in a downturn, oil prices 
were dropping and many lenders uh, would only consider 50% of income for people working in the oil and gas sector to qualify them for a mortgage. Yeah, so I mean, the home equity line of credit is the HELOC. So basically um, a person can put a, a home equity line of credit uh, up to the value of 80% of the property um, and, and that can be something that's, you know, access to at, at when they need it um, and they can pay it back at their own pace. Um, they won't exceed 80%. So if they, they've got a mortgage and, and they've just bought their home fairly recently, only put 5% down, they probably wouldn't qualify for a HELOC. Uh, but it is an ideal product if somebody's got, you know, 50% equity in their home, they could, you know, access 30% of that in their home equity line of credit. For, for, yeah, for me to pull Equifax credit, I have to pay for that. Um, so uh, for you to get that Equifax credit, that, that's fine. You can get it. You'll have to pay for it. The one thing is if you're shopping for credit, so you're pulling your credit several times or, or going from you know bank to bank to bank looking for a mortgage option, they're pulling your credit again and again, it will start to erode your credit score. And Kania can speak to that as well. So as it erodes your credit score, it's because you're shopping for credit. So your credit rating comes down. One of the things that I recommend uh, to my clients is there's lots of things out there, credit karma, borrow well. Um, I, I prefer borrow well. Um, it's, it's a soft credit check and monitoring program. So it's not a hard pull on your credit, but it's updating you in terms of where your credit score is. And it's also monitoring activity under your name. So if somebody's doing something silly, um, with your credit, uh, you, you'll get notified. Yeah, definitely an employee is a lot easier to get a mortgage for because it's job letters, it's pay stubs and, uh, you know, track record with their NOAs. That's all really they're looking for for income. But when you're a self-employed, um, the banks want to look at like complete history, your tax histories, your, your details on your T1s um, when you're filing them. Um, they, they just want all your business account activity as well as your personal account activity. They just want to make sure your business is viable as, as well as uh, your income. I mean, you could have a, a you know, declining income in your business, but you're still drawing out the same salaries. Um, but it's not sustainable. So the banks do want to see all that information. Um, for me, you know, great referrals for me, first time home buyers, uh, homeowners renewing a mortgage, homeowners that want to consolidate debt or renovate a home, uh, people separating or divorcing property and investors or retire folks that just want to access some of the equity of their home. Um, so the five C's of credit, this is really what makes it up uh, for a lender. They're going to look at all these things before they're going to consider, uh, this, you know, funding a mortgage. Um, and that's, uh, that's my presentation. He and I start that, like everyone says it. Are we, are we all, all saying it? I'm confused. What are you saying now? Do we all say it? Oh, terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Start now. 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 Do you want you to say it, he and I? You say know. it more casually. Like yeah. we're not trying to rehearse the most impossible <laughs> phrase in the world. Now. Now. Be 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 now.